What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton helping you create music on this channel. I do set up videos, tutorials, I give you tips about the MPC. So if you're new to the channel here, consider subscribing. This video is gonna cover projects and kind of how you can manage where you save and store your projects on the MPC. This is gonna work for the MPC One, the MPC X, and the MPC Live since they all run the same firmware. Now, what I wanna talk about is where to save your project so you can access it in other things. Like if you make a project on your standalone MPC, how can you load that in your software or how can you take it from one MPC and put it into a different MPC? So I'm going to show you that in this particular video. Now, if you look at my MPC here, I have something is called first project. So this is a simple project. Here it is, right? So say, we want to take this project, load it up into the software and be able to work on it and finish this project. Now I've been getting emails. I got a couple emails. Some people are loading this or saving this onto their internal drive and they wonder how do you take it from the internal drive and put it, you know, where you can access it in your software because you cannot access the internal drive when you are in the controller mode. So it's kind of one of the limitations that the NPC has. So you have to actually store your project on an external drive. And in this case, I'm gonna be using an SD card, but you can also use like a USB drive if you wanted to. Now this particular SD card is very cheap. This one costs $12, it's a 64 gigabyte SD card. It costs $12 on amazon.com right now. Now the prices fluctuate, but I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want more information about this SD card. They even go up to 256 gigabytes for 40 bucks. And again, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But I'm gonna use the SD card for this one. So we got our project, right? Now, a lot of people are saving this into their internal drive. So they're going like this. They're hitting this folder. They're going save or save as and they're going into this folder here. This is the default folder. It says internal. You can see I have a few projects in here, but they're saving it right into here. So let me show you what they're doing. They're going like this, they're hitting save, and they're saving into the internal drive, which is fine and dandy, but I wanna show you a couple of reasons why this is limiting. Let's go ahead and restart this bad boy. So if you hit that folder and hit new, it's gonna bring you to the startup screen. Once you're in the startup screen, what you could do just go to empty project. Now it does show up here cause we saved it. But if we go to empty project, go to browse. If you go to your files here under projects, this is where that is saved. Now you can see first project right there. It's also over here. If you go to places and you go to my documents. Okay. Now the thing is you can load this up. So remember this was a blank project. So you could load it up. You could press load right there. You could load it up into the RAM. So basically what that's doing is taking off the internal drive, loading it into the RAM of your MPC. Now I want to show you this. If you press this right here at the top, you get a couple things going on here. Right here, if you tap that, it says there's 811.8 megabytes free of the 3.8 gigabyte drive that's in the MPC one. That's extremely low. As far as if you start sampling and putting a lot of projects on there, that's going to go away really quick. So I want to show you this here. Let's close that. Press OK. OK, and if you look here, this is all we got. I want to take this SD card. I want to load it right up in here. Very, very simple. So I got an SD card. I'm going to load it right into the front of the MPC one here. It shows up right here. MPC one SD. So that's what I actually saved the name of it is the MPC one SD. You can see I do have this expansion pack on here as well, but we're concerned about the actual storage here. So if you look, I did create a folder on here and this folder is called projects. If you want to create a folder, this is very simple to do. And I'll show you how to do that right now. If you go back to main, hit this folder icon and then go to save as once you're in here, select that drive. And then you could push new folder and it's going to enable you to create a new folder on this SD card. So all I did is I pushed create new folder and I named it projects. 
and it created this folder. And then I created another folder in there. Okay. So that's what I did with that. Now I do want to show you something about this. If you come up here to this, we can see this MPC one SD card has 54.9 gigabytes free out of 59.4. So this is a 64 gigabyte hard drive and you can see there's a lot more room on this SD card and I've already used five gigabytes almost. So you can see that this internal drive is not enough. So I highly recommend that you don't save your files, your project files onto the internal drive, buy an SD card, buy a USB drive, save your project files onto an external device. And then this way you can also, you know, when you're working on your projects, save it on that SD card, and then you can also back it up on your computer if you want to. So let me show you how to actually take your file from the internal drive and save it onto an external drive. I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm just gonna start from the beginning. All right, so let's load up that empty project and then let's go to our browser here. Let's go to our files. Let's go to that project. Let's go to that first project, load it up. All right, so we loaded up that project that we want to actually save and work on it somewhere else, like our computer in the software or like say our MPCX, for example. So what we can do now is go to main. We can see this project is here. If we tap right there, we can actually go to save as, select that SD card, go into our projects folder. You know, I do have an extra folder in here for the month, but let's just save it right here in this main one. We can rename it as well if we want to, and let's just save it right here. All right, so I saved that into the SD card in the projects folder. All right, so once that is actually saved, what you can do is actually load that up. So let's go ahead and shut off our NPC one, just so I can show you that you can actually do this. All right, so I shut it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. And then whenever we get this startup screen, I'm gonna to go to an empty project. So I'm gonna to go to an empty project. I'm going to go to browse. Once in browse, yes, we have our files here. We got our projects right there, okay? But it is over here as well. So if you go to projects, okay? And then there it is, the first project. So I can load this up into this MPC one. I can load this up into my MPC live, into my MPC X, whatever MPC I may want to load this up into, I can load it up and work on it there. Now you're also going to be able to load this up in your MPC software. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over to the computer, show you how you can load this inside of your MPC software. Now, before you take your SD card out of the MPC, make sure it is ejected or the power of the MPC is turned off. So if you see there, are you sure you want to eject this drive? Yes. So now it's safe to take that card out. Excuse me. You could take that card out like that. Now I can put this into the, uh, the computer, okay? And I don't even need this hardware device. I could just load this up into the software and I wanna show you how to do that. If you're finding value in this video, remember to give it a thumbs up below. It's really gonna help this video get seen by those who might want to see it and consider sharing it if you know somebody who might need this information. I know I was emailed a couple times about this exact topic. That's why I'm making the video. So I know people need to know this stuff. So share it if you've, you know, if somebody you know needs to go ahead and get this information. All right, let's go ahead and get back into the video. All right, so I have the SD card in my computer, so I need to go to my browser. So once I go to my browser, I need to find that SD card, go into that SD card, and then what I can do is go to that projects folder. Remember we created that projects folder? Go into that right there, first project, it's there. Now notice you have your project and you have a project data folder. Okay, so these are actually needed. Both of these are needed. This is our March folder. That's just something different. These, this is the project and this is all the project data. You need both of these and it's very essential whether you're loading this into the MPC software or another MPC. Okay, so if you try to transfer this to somebody so they can work on it, you need both of these files. So I'm going to go ahead and double click right here. First project. It's gonna open the MPC software and we should be good to go. 
You can see it's automatically loading that up. If I hit play, our project plays perfectly, no issues. All right, so once you're done here, you can actually save it. So you can save your project right there. Now, once it has been loaded, it does load up in this list. So you can open it from this list once your project has actually been loaded into the software. Now you need to make sure that you actually have your SD card in there. Now, if you don't have your SD card in there, you can transfer the file off your SD card onto your computer. Just remember where you put it so you can open it from that file location. That's the very important part about all of this. You need to know where your files actually are. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the software and I'm gonna show you the NPC Live. I'm gonna take the SD card, put it into my NPC Live and show you that it does show up on the NPC Live and you can load it in your NPC Live from your NPC One if you want to. In front of me, I got my NPC Live. I'm gonna take the same exact SD card. I'm gonna load it into the NPC Live and show you how you can load up that same exact project on another NPC. So if you look on the back of the NPC, there's actually a SD card slot. I'm just gonna put it right into that. I'm gonna power on my NPC Live. And then once it's powered on, I'm gonna to go to an empty project, go to the browser, find the project. All right, so it's turned on, empty project. This is a brand new empty project. Now you do need to go to your browser. Then you go to your places over here, NPC one SD card. So what I can do is just go to projects. First project is right there. Now I do wanna show you something. If you untap this, all right, so now we can see that project data file. So within that project data file, you have your sequences, you have all the sounds, all the programs, everything that is inside of that project is in there. So I did wanna show you that. And that's why it's absolutely necessary to have your project, okay, which I just loaded up, and your project um, data folder, okay? So you saw I just double tapped that and I loaded it up. Alternatively, you could just press load and then you can use your data dial as well and it'll load that up, all right? So once you load it up, it's going to be the exact same project. So you're pretty much good to go. So if you go back to main, you can see it's first project. We got that sequence in there. We got all of our same tracks. Everything's the same. So we even have these instruments, okay, that were from the key group program from the F9 expansions. Those uh, key group programs actually load up as well. And if you push play on this, you get the exact same project file. It plays exactly the same as it does in the MPC one, exactly the same as it does in the MPC software and exactly the same as it would inside the NPTX because they are all able to load up the same project files. If you want more videos about the NPC1, go ahead, click or tap the screen over here. That's gonna take you to a playlist. It's gonna take you to more videos about the NPC1. Remember to subscribe right there. And when you do that, click the bell icon. This way you can get notified when I come out with new videos. Also, like this video as well if you did find it valuable. My name's Matthew, continue creating music, and we'll talk soon.